what is best in life. Uh, we just rejoin uh, Sultan Alandin Jaws of the uh, Jaws dynasty. He is trying to stay alive desperately. He is the last adult member, adult male member of the House of Jaws. Uh, and all the rest have been assassinated at the rate of one per half hour episode for the last four episodes. But Sultan Air Sheik Egg, I noticed, is age 15. So he only has to last one more year before he too will be an adult at age 16. But the Jaws family is rapidly running out of male members and cannot sustain the loss of one per, uh, one per episode. So I am forbidding myself to run a uh, lead army so I don't accidentally get slain like the first uh, Jahan, uh, Emir the Jahandar the Great. And I'm trying to marry off my daughters matrilinearly, matrilinearly, uh, if possible, to generate yet more uh, members, heirs of the uh, House of Jaws that will be eligible to inherit, thus preventing the extinction of my dynasty. Now, Alamut is has a warning that it's leaving the uh, empire. And this is the, he's a Sunni. I don't know why I left a Sunni sheik in charge of Alamut, but the heir to Alamut is the commander of the Western Protectorate. I don't know how the commander of the Western Chinese Protectorate got to be the heir of the sheikdom of Alamut. That makes no sense, especially he doesn't seem to be the heir of Tabaristan. And the Western Protectorate is quite, well, it's actually not that great a distance away. It does actually border the Caspian Sea. Uh, so there is a warning that I'll have to uh, withdraw Alamut, his, the title from the uh, Sunni Sheik. I'll revoke the title, that way it will stay in the dynasty. Oh, but I don't have enough prestige. Darn it, I'm at negative 47 prestige. I could demand a religious conversion, but I won't do that yet because I understand if I revoke a title from a Sunni, it only uh, reduces the vassal opinion of other Sunni uh, vassals, not Zoroastrian. So it's best I take Alamut from him, then convert him to be a good Zoroastrian would be the better way. So I still have almost 2000 liege levies. And I could take another province in Azerbaijan as their armies are still, yes, they look like they are still being decimated by that Orthodox uprising with 1700 troops. He's only got 1200 troops he could raise. And can I declare war? I believe I can. I think Shermaka might be the uh, better bet as it's a slightly better province and it's not occupied by the uh, Orthodox Uprising. The Orthodox Uprising army is just a little smaller than mine, although it's almost all light infantry. So I'll just get the clock going and uh, get some gameplay happening. I believe my council is all engaged and I am on my lieges council. If I were in any other position than spy master, I would resign because I have the feeling I'm only being appointed to the council to be assassinated. However, as spy master, I would be the one leading the assassination. So I believe I'm safe. And if I make myself a loyalist to the council, perhaps that will save my bacon as well. It's my hope at least. And the spy master should be scheming to try to protect my life, I hope. And there's the vassal inheritance warning about Alamut. But it's only Alamut. It's not even it's not even Tabaristan and Alamut leaving the uh, my holdings and joining the Western Protectorate. I have no idea how the Western Protectorate got to be the heir of uh, the Sheikdom of Alamut. And uh, I do have the Heavenly Circlet and the Staff of Majesty, which are two great items. Uh, they're only quality three. They're not quality four or five, though, that my smith was able to produce. And I have a prisoner who is the Wali Zhengzhur, and he's a Sunni, and he is still in charge of a mosque. Can I take his title away from him? I can't take his title away from him. 
I'm not sure why I can't take the title away from the holder of a mosque, and he's already arrested, so he's obviously lost a rebellion. Um, I'll put him under house arrest, though, because I understand I've just read in the forums that very few people ever escape from house arrest, but it has less of a negative modifier on your opinion. So perhaps I can't take his title, there we go, because of religious control mandate. See, now I have religious control mandate law, and now can I take away uh, religious titles? Or it's, perhaps it's because he's not my direct vassal. That's why he's not showing up in my vassals tab. He has to be a direct vassal and he's an indirect vassal through someone else. Yeah, there he is. And I still cannot take away his title. So I suspect he must be the vassal of a vassal and that's why I can't take away his title. Move to a dungeon cell. There we go. Because, yeah, it doesn't make sense if I'm trying to restore Zoroastrianism to the uh, Moose Jaw satrapy that I have a mosque run by a uh, Sunni in it. But now I will uh, declare war on the Sultan Abdullah of uh, the Akhalid, Yukalid, Akhalid dynasty or satrapy. And I'll take Shermaka, Shermaka, raise my levies. And I believe they're, they already have a rally point in Galan, which is a half decent place for them to rally. So I'll let them rally. And thankfully I am not, yeah, that's the right place for them to rally anyway, far enough away from the Orthodox heresy that I don't get, uh, uh, destroyed. I will appoint some commanders. I have no good commanders except the court physician and I don't want to lose my court physician fighting in a war. So all of these commanders of skill 5 and skill 4 are just terrible. It's like the Zoroastrians don't know how to fight. Oh, the uh, only the only Zoroastrian with the capability of fighting is a woman, and oh, she's a lunatic and has great pox. Oh no, I'm sick again. I have a fever. Is that someone from the Devil's Own that's getting me? Uh, you spent time investigating one of my liege's vassals, and I would discourage the vassal from supporting conspiratorial factions in the future. My liege must be informed. So I'll invite a couple of people to court. Emer's Nizam, not this butcher, says I'm developing consumption. He insists I follow his instructions. And yeah, it doesn't look like too many of these people have fantastic stats, but I'll invite some to court. Emer Nizam kept me up late for days, stargazing with him to reconnect with the moon, he said. I'm not sure that did anything. None of these people are particularly worth seducing either. I get the urge to vomit. Is this going to be another Sultan in another episode? The Sultan has only lasted, these Sultans are only lasting half of the episode where they're uh, inaugurated and then half before they die. It says I have bubonic plague. So I think the Sultan is dead. It's on to the 16 year old or 15 year old. Emperor Nizam gave me a foot bath against your fever. It was freezing. Oh, and it actually increased my health by two. That's surprising. So I have vomiting, negative one health, and fever, negative one health. But I have the feeling these fevers are coming from the Devil's Own, that someone's assassinating me using that Devil's Own secret society power. Um, 
because I believe the first indication when you use that assassination power is you get a fever, and it seems these sultans begin with a fever and end up with gangrene or bubonic plague and then die. So I may have to falsely confess to being a Sunni to perhaps prevent being assassinated. I am wondering if that is the only thing that's going to save me. But then that will interfere, I believe, with my being able to... Oh, I suffer from food poisoning. I'm not passing... When you are not passing a loose stool in the chamber pot, you're throwing up. Uh, I don't want to try anything brave. The last time I did that, he cut body parts off and I ended up dead. Emperor Nizam insisted your humors were out of balance and that the best way to restore them would be through bloodletting. After consulting the astronomical charts, he decided that you should be bled from your armpits and temples. Oh, and that actually worked. In this game, bleeding is actually an effective health cure. Yet another fiction. So my army is actually gathering up, and I guess with the rally points, you don't have to unify the army. I would have thought you had to group the army together when they get to the rally points, but no, they just automatically group. So I'll appoint a couple of commanders, even though they're terrible ones. And I've got a claim on Kurdistan. This is excellent because one, Kurdistan is a weak uh, neighbor where I can score us some land, but this is actually a holy site for the Zoroastrians. So if I install a Zoroastrian, it will increase her moral authority. A daughter was born, that's pretty good. If I get a matrilineal marriage, maybe my children of my daughter will be of some use to the dynasty. Or I could, oh, he's the leader of a revolt. I don't want to marry him off to the leader of a revolt. My violent vomiting and diarrhea have gone away. You've recovered from food poisoning, that's shocking. I don't think I'll be recovering from bubonic plague. And who's this commander of Karzira? Oh, I married matrilineally to him, even though he had claims. So my family may be uh, getting claims. And he accepted the suggestion of the, of the uh, betrothal. Um, Kazaria, I think, is just to the north. He has a weak claim on it. So it's not a very strong claim anyway. I'm having dinner with plenty of drinks with Sheikh Sadan of Al Jaff tonight. It's lovely, yet what I'm most charmed by is himself. Why else would I not immediately stop a conversation which slowly began to touch upon some almost heretical ideas, questioning the salvation of Ahura Mazda? If you do not ask questions, why did Ahura Mazda make us so curious? Walking the palisades of my castle, I am joined by the Sheik. I find him agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly, he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? I'll keep you hidden. I thank you, Sheik. Or what is this? I should call you a witch. Uh, I will try not to irritate him, as I believe he's part of the Devil's Own, and he's, that's the group that's trying to kill me. What if I told you that all of you've been taught to believe is a lie? He continues, throwing a cautious glance around, before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of a pentagram. Uhura Mazda lied to Adam in the Garden of Eden. Reject the tyrant deity and let Ariman guide your steps. You truly are a witch, then. Can you help me win on the battlefield? It's not the battlefield I'm having trouble with. It's being assassinated in my bedchamber. If you offer yourself up to Iblis, he will grant you powers Ahura Mazda has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, and I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. It, that's, I've never shown any interest in the um, Devil's Own Society, and they're recruiting me, which is kind of shocking. Um... The siege is going all right. My army is larger than the Orthodox army, so I should be okay. It's been some time since the Sheik was in contact with me. I've been mulling over his words. Ahura Mazda told Adam he would die if he ate of the forbidden fruit. Ahura Mazda lied. The Herbads and the Temple lie. Their lies are meant to hold us back. Why must we put the needs of others before our own? I'll, yes, I'll gain the trait greedy, as that will increase my income. And my income is still a healthy extra 23 gold pieces a month in the black. 
which is uh, fairly healthy for uh, Crusader Kings. A daughter was born, although it looks like she's a bastard daughter. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks like she was a bastard daughter, so I'll marry her off and try to get her alliance. Oh, it's too bad she's strong, too. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood in my bedroom door this morning. The guards say they haven't seen anyone enter during the night. I dare not ask my Mobad to decipher it, yet I think I understand the pentagram, the mark of Angra Menu. Angra Menu is the evil spirit. I'm not sure exactly how he relates to uh, Ariman. Ariman is the uh, devil figure, the evil spirit. Angra Menu is sort of like the uh, spirit in abstract form, like evil spirits. And yes, I will marry in an alliance to, uh, as she can't continue my, uh, and can I get an alliance with him? Uh, no, I can't. It doesn't look like, I'm not in a non-aggression pact. So it looks like because she's a bastard, I didn't get a non-aggression pact. We've received a word of your dedication and desire to join the Legion of the True Lord, await the messenger, let the Dark One guide you. So yeah, I guess I can't get an alliance because I, even though, because she's a bastard, she's not forming a uh, pact with me. A queasy feeling overcomes you and you feel an immediate urge to vomit. God, I'm going to die. Emer Nazem is confident your symptom is not due to a serious illness and that it will pass quite soon. Nevertheless, you receive some treatment. And to keep you from vomiting, Emer Nazem had me drink a tall glass of rare onion water following each of your meals. I just have the vomiting trait, bandaged arm. That's it, I don't have the bubonic plague, which is a relief. I met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Apparently this Ibitsam is a foreign diplomat. I engaged her in conversation for the first time today and we spoke at length about travel routes. I was shocked when she carefully picked up her sleeve, pulled up her sleeve, revealing the mark of Lucifer. So she is the messenger from the devil's own. The abjurer smiles. I'm pleased to find you not only a charming man, Alandon, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. The brethren value the pursuit of knowledge, you see, in addition to more earthly pursuits. Her smile turns into a predatory grin as she continues. We'll soon see exactly how committed you are. So what am I going to have to do exactly? To join the assassins, I had to kill my mother. My vomiting has stopped and I can take regular meals again. So I survived. Ipitsam escorts me to my bedchamber. I hesitate upon entering, finding it flooded with light as candles form a circle around my bed. Several hooded figures surrounded the room, chanting in unison, Fear not, brother, power and pleasure, these are the gifts of Iblis. I wonder if these devil's own messengers are uh, preventing me from dying of illness. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone and Ibrit Sim is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own Saladin, Sultan Alandin II. Uh, I hold her close, wondering how I will look back on this moment. And a budding romance, or it was a necessary evil. Oh, I don't want to irritate members of the Lucifer's own, so I'll go for a budding romance and a positive... Uh, relationship with her. She's 36, so I might have a child. I'm not sure, but another child of the dynasty. And there's a battle going on between the Sultan of the Umaquats and the uh, Orthodox Rebellion. I'm not sure who won, but both of their armies are now smaller than mine. They're at about 1,000, whereas mine is 2,000, which is good news. And I've almost sieged down two holdings in Shamaka. I've sieged down two holdings now out of three. So I think my war score is only 16%. And I'll, this is actually a well fortified place. It's taking me a while to siege this down. And I'm down to 1970 troops. So I lost about a hundred troops, I think, during the siege. And can I add to my hospital to uh, increase my technology growth. I'll go to construction two, I think, to see if I can actually increase my hospital growth 
or I'm not sure yet how I'll spend these points. I need to get to legalism three to establish primogeniture, and that is going very slowly. It doesn't seem to be growing in. My speeding it up has just prevented it from growing spontaneously. Oh, uh, Hamden is pregnant. My wife is pregnant. That's excellent. And I've won another siege. News from China. The people of Khazaria probably never knew why the great emperor chose to attack the Kagan. Regardless, they have suffered a crushing defeat and Han armies are journeying home to celebrate as their victory has finally been declared. The dragon is not to be toyed with. So I guess the protectorate is ex expanding. It's, it's gotten all the way to the Caspian Sea. It's getting pretty big. Uh, I wish I could expand my castle town. Heavy infantry and pikemen, light infantry and archers. The levy size, 10% would be good. I'd like to establish a levy. Castle fortifications. But it's castle town and I need castle walls too to increase my castle town taxes. And to increase castle walls too, I need improved keeps, which is a really expensive one. 289 gold. That's a lot of gold for not much of any use. Uh, I'll just upgrade the castle fortifications. Get something going. Um, a child lacks focus. She's rowdy, martial, stewardship. We'll go for stewardship. And it's my sister. Give her a high stewardship. Uh, guardian. Disaster, your fellow member of Lucifer's own has been caught by court and man Aram and his warriors. They spared no time before burning her at the stake. And can I arrange a betrothal? Not with the leader of a revolt. He's heir to the Corzin tribe. Can I get a matrilineal marriage with someone with good traits? to uh, get into the Jaws bloodline. There's someone who's strong, but they're 45. And quick, but they're 52. Disaster, another member of Lucifer's own has been caught. They spared no time before they burned him at the stake as well. Geez, the Lucifer own are kind of getting burned through. So yes, I will try a matrilineal marriage with a quick person to get hopefully some quick children into our bloodline. He is accepted. He should, I'm a king. And a son was born. A son was born to my wife. I'll use the creative name Alandon. And a daughter was born at the same time. I had, or my wife had twins. Uh, and I will try humility, timid and affectionate or etiquette. Affectionate could, could turn into humble, shy. Conscientiousness. Fussy, stewardship plus one, patient, greedy or paranoid, curious. I think I'll go with thrift. see if I have a high stewardship uh, person. The queen mother of Moose Jaws. Uh, here's the mayor. Maybe it'll improve his opinion of me as well. It seems to be kind of negative. My Durek Pat has collected, oh, 155 gold. That's a pretty good special tithe. And if I can marry him off to someone strong or someone with a positive trait, uh, conch quick. And another 12 year old who's quick, someone with a title claim. And they're ambitious already. That's pretty young to be ambitious at 12. Oh, and she won't accept. She must be ambitious if she won't accept 
marriage to a prince of a sultan at age 12. That's a lot of ambitious. How dare she? And... There's no one of the appropriate age. There's a 15 year old who's strong and lustful at 15. And she won't accept either. I guess it's because my prestige is so low or I'm not sure, but the House of Jaws should have enough prestige. Kayla Farouk has folded to the demands of the faction for Sheikh Sadadin as ruler of the Abbasid Empire. Okay, so I've won uh, siege all three holdings in Shakira and I have a 73% war score. So I guess I'll siege down Azerbaijan, see if I can do better. Caliph Sadadin, Sadadin has instituted the slightly tax-focused burger by law, or law. Disaster, yet another member of Lucifer's own has been caught. They used hot irons to brand Hussein an apostate. Fortunately, they spared his life. Well, at least they're not killing every member of Lucifer's own. They're just branding some. So what does my Caliph think of me? Uh, just foreigner and an infidel. After a lengthy discussion about the logistics of an upcoming ritual, my brother in darkness, Soldier Assad, stood up abruptly and said, let's head down to the town and have some fun with the peasants. It's about time. The tavern was packed when we arrived, distracted uh, Shuja distracted the tavern keeper while I do uh, doused the barrels with Dreamer's Delight. An hour later, the mood was getting festive. Two hours later, and the crowd had descended into utter madness. Our man knows what they saw while they were offering up the staff to Nagat. And I gained the trait Cruel. Oh, an opportunity to strike at the foolish followers of false gods has presented itself. Their hairbods and talesh are ignorant of the true state of the world, tear down their idols and steal their wealth in the name of Ariman. I'll accept the missions as they come, but I won't be too quick to uh, achieve them because I really am not sure I want to pursue very far up in Lucifer's own, as that might just be another way to get myself killed and make myself a target. I need 750 dark power and I'm and I only have 268 dark power so far. And I gain 5.5 from intrigue, one from proud and one from greedy. And a message about a point counselor. I don't want to be a counselor. I certainly won't be the steward as that's just an easier way to assassinate me. And this is an ambitious child, ambitious, fussy stewardship, diplomacy, marshal. I'll get her going on stewardship. And hopefully the mayor will improve his opinion of my house. And there's an emir I can marry her off to get an actual alliance with. Disaster, yet another member of Lucifer's own has been killed. They burned him at the stake. Emir of Kabulistan. Am I gonna attack Kabulistan next? And a high chief of Transylvania. Where is Kabulistan? Oh, it's almost in India, or it is in India. Although actually that's not that far away. And I've sieged down yet another province. And... And are there any positive genetic traits that I can marry her off to? strong and I will matrilineally marry a strong person and he's accepted my marriage good for him 
A dull pain begins to throb behind my eyes. Someone's trying to kill me again, or I'm sick again. Oh, but Shi John Ju states that his extensive medical experiments, I get to use my own court physician this time because I'm no longer part of the Emir's court. So hopefully my survival rate should go up from all these illnesses that I've been getting. I think I've survived four illnesses in one 20 minute episode as the Sultan. And it's only been his first couple of years as reigning as a Sultan. And he's had that many illnesses that can't be natural. I think there are assassination attempts by the devil's own. And my heir is now 18 and is at least an adult. So I won't be in a regency if I die, if one of these illnesses finally kill me. Oh, well, I see that's it for this episode. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, I hope you have. Uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell so you receive a notification of my other videos. And please consider following me on Facebook. And I hope you had a nice day. It was a, uh, I had a fun time making this video and it looks like the Sultan actually survived an entire video, which is longer than most. Good day.